with the boys. So we got Kevin. De afuera. So this is what the outside looks like. We've got two little chairs here. The geometric dome. And then unfortunately there is a construction site next door. But they're pretty quiet so far and I think we should be okay. Let's start out with a tour of the geodesic dome. From the outside, it looks very simple. I love these little tree stump steps towards the front door. And once you go inside, this is what you get. There is a bed right in the middle. This would be a queen bed, definitely not a king. So that makes it look bigger. My first impression was how spacious it was and I was wondering where everything would be located. So behind this green wall to the left is a little kitchenette and to the right there are there's a set of bunk beds which didn't have mattresses on them for us because we had let the uh, owners know that there were only going to be two of us. So if you are coming with more people, you need to specify so that they can add the mattresses there. So this is the little kitchen setup, nothing too fancy. The little kitchen um, stove, it's like a camping one we had to plug in, wasn't the best quality, but again, this is essentially glamping. So for, with that in mind, it had everything we needed. Now, if you walked around to the right behind the bunk beds, you actually have to exit onto this separate little room, which is the bathroom not a part of the dome, which definitely makes it easier to fit in all of the bathroom appliances, the big spa bath, a nice spacious shower, everything you need. Now here are a few more of the details close up. There were a few of these triangle windows with the mesh, but they did warn us that if it started raining, we had to zip these up because of course the mesh is not waterproof. It was decorated quite beachy and boho, which I definitely like. And of course, looking out from the bed, you have the windows, but they did come with curtains that you could let down. Now at the back, you can see the size of the dome compared to the bathroom unit. And it also came with two bikes for us to use, a little trampoline, a fire pit, and a barbecue area. And of course, this place was also dog friendly, which was a huge bonus for us. So that was the tour or the first impressions tour. I am going to go into a little bit more detail further on in the video into like how the dome was, you know, put together and some of the things that I did love about it. But that was the basics. And once we got settled in, we decided to take the dogs down to the beach. Come here. Come here. The beach was a bad idea. The dogs immediately ran off. They all tried to jog after them in this soft fucking sand. The cute beach. My dogs went off making friends. Boys! Oh my God! Muy malo! Come on! Burn Nacho! Acá! Otra vez no! Come on! Okay, I got you. put the dogs back in the car, in the van, and since they've already had their run for the day, they're gonna wait for us while we get our leisurely walk in, because they no longer deserve to be... Isn't that right? Ooh, pretty! Like six Six, you really think? Yeah, it's a small I'll have to do a slut. Yeah. It's a small one.
Good morning. It is Friday morning. I don't know how well you can hear or see me. The sun is just about to rise and the wind is strong. Gotcha. Good morning from the dome. I don't know how well you can hear me because of all. The wind. <laughs> and that's the thing with the dome. It is beautiful, aesthetic, but inside it's, in the main part, other than the bathroom, of course, which is a separate building, it really is just a round tent. So all these wind noises you can hear really clearly. I am actually kind of looking forward to when it starts raining in a few hours because I think that will just sound really peaceful, but I'm not sure if you can even hear anything I'm saying right now. So I'm gonna head back inside and make myself my mate for the day and get on to some work. I've been out here with the dogs for a little bit watching the sunrise but I think it's pretty much over now so time to head back in. I'm sitting out the front with my journals, mate, mis perros and we're just waiting for the rain to roll in. I did walk around the house or the dome this morning and just take a few videos that I'm going to include at the end of this vlog just to kind of like show off the imperfections of it again not to be a negative nancy but my dad is an architect and he asked me well he seemed really excited when i said we were coming to one of these domes he used like a fancy word for it, like a geodonic something and knew the name of the architect who first did it or whatever the vibe of this dome is still really nice and the novelty is for sure there and stuff like this like the little like the imperfections with the paint the imperfections with the paint that's just so completely uruguayan that if we ever stay in a place that like doesn't have anything like that and is like perfectly executed i'm gonna be shocked <laughs> okay so i love my time in the dome but there are a few things that just were a little off. This is mostly for my dad or any other architectural nerds, but if you want to keep watching, feel free. I promise I'm not complaining. Just kind of laughing about it. The front door only stayed closed if you actually locked it and had to leave the key in the door, basically. There was also a little gap at the side of the door and underneath the door where the hot air would escape and the rain would kind of like come under the door when it was really pouring down. The curtains were supposed to be held together with this Velcro, but the Velcro had all like ripped off. So they just had this like pile of pegs that we could use to hold the curtains closed. Now looking up at the ceiling, it's almost all perfect, except these few little triangles where the joins are like in the middle of the triangle and it just kind of threw the vibe off. But again, I'm being super nitpicky here, just pointing out some things that I know would annoy my architect father. For example, the skirting boards, how they just kind of like cut it off and then didn't paint it white. And then the green paint is clearly done afterwards and they didn't go back to clean up the white edges. The like floorboards, there are little gaps. Again, of course, not the end of the world, but yeah. And then back here, this is the door to the bathroom. Around the doors at the front door and this back door, the like plastic stuff, the white plastic is all uneven and then it kind of just like awkwardly goes out into the bathroom honestly I feel like this is a pretty good effort to try to join the two buildings so I'm not mad about it I just like this little gap here that you could see into the kitchen a little off but again because we're talking about a dome unless you custom build furniture to curve around the dome you're not gonna you're, you're just gonna have these gaps they also had little bits like this where the like nuts and bolts were just sticking out a little bit too far and then here I just wanted to show the air conditioning unit. So it did come with a reverse cycle air conditioner, which is great. And this is how they attached it to the wall. I'm not really sure what's going on, but it worked. So no complaints there. Now here's what I mean about the front door and just the like panels of plastic around it. Obviously like to cut the dome to fit these doors in, 
it did leave some little like gaps here and there but yeah that's pretty much it again not the end of the world but here was the real dome tour and now let's bring the vibes back up with some rain asmr so the work has arrived and the rain has also started i think it's time i move my stuff inside supposed to pick up and driving in our combi in the wind is just like dangerous um but what we forgot to do was actually message the people last night saying that we wanted to leave early and so now they're either still asleep or just like haven't seen our messages i don't know but we're like packed up ready to go as of an hour ago and we're just like twiddling our thumbs waiting to leave but other than that it has been a really nice calming relaxing mini like 
I don't know. I don't know if you'd call this a staycation because we did drive like kind of far, but it's like the same. Well, we're not even in the same region. We're in Maldonado. So I guess, yeah, a mini vacation in the next region over. Um, but yeah, this is the area. There are so many when we were driving around. So this is technically Bella Vista, I think. And then the one, like, the little neighborhood just down the road from us is Las Flores. And in Las Flores, there were so many houses for rent or for sale. Um, and here there's like quite a few being built. So I don't know if that's like a good <laughs> sign that this is like an up and coming area or something. But yeah, there seems to be a lot of like beach beach house kind of vibes which you know pretty dead in winter time but that's kind of what we love a few years ago actually on our honeymoon we went down to Punta del Este which is just a little bit further than where we are now and like in the middle of well not the middle of winter it was August I'm also kind of just hoping that if I walk around the streets one of these dogs will wake up our home <laughs> wake up our hosts and then we can get going but yeah we went down to Punta del Este which is like the most popular craziest beach town in summer and then in winter it's a ghost town but it was so nice and <laughs> just like even on the rainiest days excellent but I really would recommend the dome it's for sure not perfect and like the wind at night can get kind of loud and it was honestly a little bit spooky so I <laughs> If you're someone like me and you're not like a huge fan of camping, I would plan to like play music overnight or something like calming music to kind of drown that out. Because otherwise it kind of just like sounds like, I don't know, unsafe or whatever. But like it totally is fine. But yeah, it's just like very much tent vibes, but bigger. Bruno!